Okay. Oh, I got one. This is one, right? Let's go. English. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A. Now, skills. Welcome back to another one of my FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Rich Man of Glory episodes. Now, based off that clip, based off the beginning of this episode, you can tell this episode's about to be real juicy, real action packed. I got my first 10 games of the weekend league. Yes, I finally, finally packed a future star card and an English one, which is kind of dope. And yes, Jerome Felix is the best finisher in this game what i just said right there will be very controversial but i'm gonna explain everything in this episode this is not clickbait this is not a joke this jerome felix i'm not just saying this because i was a Mefica fan bro and he played Mefica. i'll explain and i'll show you stats to prove it but first let me show you who i packed before we go any further big old thumbs up make sure to subscribe that would mean the world to me now check out who i packed i don't know what to do bro because like I like I like streaming at like around seven, eight, nine. I don't really have a stream time because I just like pulling up when I pull up, and it is what it is. I don't want this to feel like a job. Oh, I got one. This is one, right? Let's go, English. No way. Oh, could you imagine the scenes if I got Greenwood? Could you imagine the scenes if we got Greenwood, bro? Ah, oh, I thought I got Greenwood. I thought I got him, bro. Hey, we still take it right back, man. We move, we move, we we finally pack. We finally packed one, bro. We finally, 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 finally packed one. So now we packed one. We can actually use. The, we'll probably use him. Hey, should we use him? Yes or no? Use. Uh, nah, I'm probably gonna sell him and grab Juwan Felix and play the weekend league with Juwan Felix, man. Now that I got you guys all caught up, no matter what, after wasting three hundred dollars in packs, I couldn't get Juwan Felix. I could only actually pack. Why are my knuckles so red? It looks like I've been. It's the, like the gym, I guess. Anyways, um. So, uh, I, I knew I was going to buy him, right? But I wasted 300 to try to pack him. Only packed one uh, future star. Very, very sad, man. These things, for me, aren't really coming out. But I bought Juan Felix, and I lobbed him into the mega of mega of mega of mega teams. And with that being said, we go into game number one. Now, I'm going to show stats. I'm going to show everything. So, I played all 10 of my games live on stream, all right? And during this time, I wasn't trying to get you know, Juan Felix going. Matter of fact, when I'm streaming, it's more about me talking to you guys that are there with me and less focusing on the game. When I'm at when I'm at home and, and not streaming and playing Weekend League by myself, there is no talking, there is no music playing, there is no TVs on, there's nothing. There's one screen, I hit record so I get the gameplay and I'm in here in the silence. All I hear is the commentators from FIFA 20 in my ear and I roll with it, right? But when I'm on stream, I'm having a good time, I'm laughing, I'm jumping around. It's kind of completely different vibes. Um, and a lot of times I don't really focus as much because I'm streaming, which means the stats that Jawon Felix did, which are uh, right now at the moment, when we get the six games, all 10, 16 games, I mean, excuse me, six games, four, six games, 14 goals, three assists. And by the time I get to all 10 games, he's over 18 goals scored. Listen. This Jawon Felix surprised the heck out of me. Now, does he score everything he shoots? No, he misses stuff, but so does team of the year Mbappe. So does Ronaldo. So does Messi. So does everyone. But as but as a, a straight up number nine, this is by far one of the sickest cards I've ever played with. And I really enjoy his finishing. So I play 4-2-3-1. I had Cristiano Ronaldo at middle cam. I had Jawon Felix at striker, Messi at right cam, and Mbappe at left cam. And Jerome Felix went absolutely off. Now, one thing I do want to say is this, and this is very important. This new patch is even harder to score. It is more annoying to score. So the fact that Jerome Felix did what he did with the more annoying patch is actually pretty surprising. Now, a lot of you guys are going to say, what do you mean by this patch? Okay, let me explain. For me, FIFA should be a game that is a lot of goals. And I know you just see me, you're going to see me score a lot of goals this episode, but listen to what I'm saying. They dropped the patch saying they fixed passing, but when they fit or fixed shooting, which they didn't because you still hit the crossbar or in the post multiple times, smash the thumbs up on this video. Let me know in the comments down below how many times you hit a post uh, throughout the weekend league. I, I will hit the post at least once a game, maybe twice a game. All right. Anyways, so they dropped this patch, but what they didn't realize is you didn't do nothing to defense. So now there's overload ball side, which people are doing, drop back on, on their players, which people are doing, and uh, come back on D, which people are putting on their players, which people are doing, um, and stay back while attacking um, on a lot of their players as well, which means there's four different things to really, really get you to sit behind the ball and just wait for your opponent to make mistakes um, and then counter them. And offensively, this is how I feel about FIFA 20 right now. For me, 
I feel like you can be a, a goal two defender. All right, your defense has to be as good as a goal two. That's it, to be able to defend really good. But I feel like you have to be a top 100 attacker. And what does that mean? It is so hard. Let me know if you guys feel this way, bro. It is so hard to break people down. I feel like if your defense is average, there's so much assisting on defense in this game that you're going to be fine defensively. But to score goals on people because of how overpowered that defense is, every gold one player seems like an elite one defender. Every gold two player seems like an elite one defender. Every gold three player seems like... It doesn't matter where you... You can, you, you can defend as long as you don't move players out of position. You're a strong defender in this game. But to score goals because of that, you need to know how to pass fast. You need to know how to shoot and where to shoot from. You need to know when to low driven, when not to low driven. You need to know when to go near post. And then with all that on top of that, the chance of you hitting the post is, is extremely high. So there's two problems with this game. You hit the post a lot. Offensively, it's very hard to break down people defensively which leads to a lot of frustration, which leads to people not enjoying the game as much as it should be. In my opinion, EA Sports, if you watch this, the way weekend league should be played is with no custom tactics and no instruction. And that's coming from someone that's 30 and old and got top 100. I understand that me putting instructions, me putting tactics, me putting what I do is giving me a, 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 a definitely an advantage on people because a lot of people don't know the meta to the game. A lot of people don't know how to make their team play correctly, which are easy wins for people that are getting top 100. But at the end of the day, Make everything balanced. You go into weekend league, bro, and all you can do is start your starting 11, pick a formation, and go. And that would leave the game completely balanced. People can't put drop back. People can't put comeback on D. People can't put overload ball side. People can't do none of this nonsense that is making the game boring. I don't actually think EA Sports has made a terrible game. I think that the way people are playing this game is terrible. Now, the game's not great. You hit the post a lot. But at the end of the day, no FIFA is going to be perfect. Because until they understand that people are always going to do comeback, always going to do drop back, always going to do comeback on D, always going to put as many players in front of the box as possible, until they understand that they need to nerf that and they need to find a way to nerf that, this game is never going to be enjoyable for the casual player because the casual player needs to learn how to attack like a top 100 player to break down defenses. I just popped this out my ear completely, bro. What the heck? So that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Now, I could be wrong. Remember, what I say here is just my opinion. If you agree with me, smash a thumbs up. I feel like this video is going to get a lot of thumbs up because I feel like a lot of you guys will feel what I'm feeling, bro. You can, I'm not saying everyone is a great defender. I'm just saying it's much easier to learn how to defend than to attack in this game. Simply because you got to learn how to break people's defense down. Man, you ever played against somebody who's doing drop back, overload ball side, and just sitting behind the ball waiting for you to lose the ball? That is the most annoying thing. You know how many people I played this weekend league with that? And the worst part about it is that's not even the worst part. The worst, 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 worst part is that that's already annoying to deal with. But if you have fast gameplay, it's not that bad. You could eventually pass through them. But if you have that plus a heavy gameplay because your connection to your opponent's connection is so far away that the game feels delayed, it's over, bro. Somebody's doing drop back, overload ball side, and you have delay. EA Sports, remove instructions, remove tactics. I know the pro players aren't going to like it. I know the top 100 players aren't going to play. I know I'm not going to like it. All right? I know we're not going to like it, but you'll make it a funner experience for the casual player. You'll make it a funner experience for everyone around because you're not going to have people posting pictures of shooting 27 times, hitting the post three times, and only scoring once. All right? You're going to have pictures of people putting up seven, eight goals. You're going to have people you know, being able to actually control their players, play with their players, and stuff like that. Now, that's just my opinion. Oh, we move. We move back to Joan Felix, but you guys are watching the game plan and just seeing this guy absolutely dominate, man. Joan Felix was a surprise to me, okay? When I played with the, uh, Joan Felix's cards, I never thought he was going to be good. I bought him. I was like, okay, listen, guys, we're going to buy Joan Felix for five games, and then I'm going to buy Greenwood. And my chat was like, yo, let's go. My stream was super pumped. You guys were there. A lot of you guys were there. And they're like, oh, let's go. oh watch this free kick, by the way. Watch Messi do what Messi... Whoa. I'm that bounced in and came out. Um... My free kicks are nasty right now. I finally learned how to do them, and we're almost at the end of FIFA. <laughs> um, but no, uh, so I'm in a spot where it's like, wait, what was I saying? I was saying something about, oh, yeah, Juan Felix. I never thought he was going to be good. Um, I was going to play him for five games, sell him, get Greenwood. You know what I'm saying? Greenwood's been a big part of this channel. Helped me draft yesterday's video. Let me play with his 99 card. You guys have enjoyed the content with him. I wanted to buy his, 90, his, his, uh, his, his um, future star car and play with him, you know, for the videos. And um, Juan Felix just started going off, bro. He started going off. I go, I go 10 and 0, by the way. I go 10 and 0, and Juan Felix just, you know, he's playing Messi, Ronaldo, and Bappe. He's playing with all these great cards, yet he's still standing out. And he doesn't, yes, he misses the occasional crazy shot, but 
the fact that he is up there with the Mbappes, the Ronaldos, the Messis, and, and scoring more goals than them lets me know that this guy is an unbelievable finisher, and he just finished so much. And the worst part, again, he's doing it on a patch that, that it's even harder to score if you play someone that does that annoying stuff. So many, many of my games, if you watch them, again, when you're chopping it up, it looks all dandy, bros. But a lot of these games, bro, I was on my stream, I was like, yo, we're going to lose here because you have to do so, 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 so much to break somebody down that in your head psychologically it really 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 gets to you bro and when you start hitting the post man you don't know what the heck to do with your life bro uh, but Juwan Felix was amazing dude I'm really excited to get Greenwood in the comments down below get involved man let me know who you would want to see me bring in for the next episode I think I'm going to bring in Greenwood I know a lot of people want my man Mount as well um, Mason Mount is his name correct Mason Mount a lot of people want to see him and I got to talk about him bro because I always, I always hate on him but it's time for me to say some good stuff man 99 Messi is one of my favorite cards in the game um it has to be said, bro. It has to be said. I talked a lot of mess about Team of the Year cards. Um, I talked a lot of trash about them, and I still feel the same way I feel about them. But I wanted to play. When I built this team, I wanted to play with players I wanted to play with. I wanted to play with Messi. I wanted to play with Ronaldo. I wanted to play with Mbappe. I wanted to play with just players that I, I, told, I told my live stream when I was building this team about a week ago. I said, I want to play with a team that... It's not about, I know a lot of these players are metas, but it's not about just meta. It's about players that if 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 I could build a starting 11, I would build this starting 11, right? And then Juan Felix came out. And I was like, all right, you know what? And honestly, Juan Felix would probably be my starting 11 because I loved him at Befica. Um, unfortunately, he left so quick and not, not doing too good at Atleti right now, huh? But anyways, um, so when I built this team, I never built it in a way where I was like, okay, I knew I could top 100 with icons and stuff like that. But I said, bro, I just want to build a team that I want to play with, like with VVDs and like I got baby Kavan, a baby uh, Cannavaro. It's just a completely different, like I could have got the best of the best. I still have like 6 million coins on the account. But I was like, nah, let me just put a team that's like really lit. So I bought this Messi for the first time ever. And 99 Messi has completely, um, completely shut me up about him. Um, this, this card, I, I, I thought Messi sucked in FIFA. Um, and his cards do suck in FIFA. They don't suck, they're good, but you have to know how to play with them. This card, with the stamina boost and with his left foot and just everything. Also, I was losing this game. Jawan Felix legitimately puts the team on his back with the runs. I want you to pay closely attention. That, that run was amazing. But on the second goal in this game, he makes a run. He makes a movement that I saw on the radar. And he got in between both center backs and there was literally nobody there, man. And Ronaldo puts the nicest through pass to him. Um, and, and, and it's what, it's what, like, or no, Mbappe does. I mean, it's mad, bro. It's mad. It's mad. It's mad. It's mad. He makes great movements. And again, his finishing is, I think, the best in the game, bro. I, you know, it's crazy, right? Because I play with Prime R9. And Prime R9 didn't finish the way this guy finishes. The fact he's four-star skill, the five-star five -star, five -star weak foot, the fact that he's a high medium, the fact that he has this crazy pace now, I love him a lot, man. Um, I really, 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 really freaking enjoyed playing with Juwan Felix. But again, he did miss chances because every card's going to miss chances. A lot of his finesse shots would float over. Um, the, the, his finesse shots aren't the best, but maybe that's because he doesn't have really a lot of curve. I'm not really sure. But anyways, back to Messi, bro. Talking a lot of mess about, a mess about Messi. You got to know how to use him. This card, man, just like, he just saves me in big games. He, he does really, really, uh, his left foot is magic. I don't really hit the post with him. His passing is incredible. And now that he has stamina, I really, really enjoy team of the year uh, uh Messi. so for anything i said to anyone out there when i said Messi was trash i want to take it back team of the year Messi seems to be incredible team of the year ronaldo is incredible as well like these team of the years are good but i always told you guys i never thought they were worth the money and i still don't think they're worth the money i think you could do a lot of the things that you could do with their regular cards you know what i'm saying with 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 their regular cards and stuff like that you could do the same thing as these team of the years but this Messi is a different one different than ronaldo um because this Messi has stamina now and that is game changing. And in this game right here, it's the only goal of the game. And he saves us. And we go to 10 and 0 because of him. At the 37th minute, he finds the back of the net. And that's the only goal. So big ups to Messi. Booyah Nation, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate the love you guys have been giving my second channel, the, the Madden channel. That link is down below if you guys want to watch that content. I'm going to try to get top 100 for you guys, man. Hopefully, Juwan Felix can keep carry us there. But it's been absolute blast making this video for you guys, man. Let me know in the comments down below how your weekend league is doing. And uh, yeah, that's how I feel about the patch. That's how I feel about Messi. And that's how I feel about Juwan Felix, man. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. Been dropping a lot of draft content. It was cool to get some weekend league on the channel. Uh, but I'm having a lot of fun with drafts right now. I'm not going to lie, man. Big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I love you. And hopefully by tomorrow, my zit will be gone. Probably not, though. All right. Love you guys, man. Thanks for watching. Peace.